Hey guys, what is up? It is Anomalist here, bringing you the seventh part of my Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back walkthrough. We already got the yellow gem, from, or the speed gem, or whatever you want to call it, for plant food. So all we need to do now is go get the crate gem for it, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. Man, I tell you what, I'm not big a fan of these uh, plant levels. You have to do so much in all of them, you know? It can be kind of a, kind of a pain sometimes. Not that I dislike the levels, but they're very tedious, I guess one might say. But yeah. We'll be on our way. Actually, I need to switch this to analog mode. I've been using the arrows. Been playing a little bit of the first Crash Bandicoot. Man, and I just... I've uh, went back playing it, I realized how much harder it is than this game. Oh my gosh. Let me tell ya. Uh... I don't know. I'm glad I made a walkthrough of this video instead of that one. That one would have been a more of a... Okay, that's a bad start to my video. Anyways, uh, that would have been more of a chore than this game would be. But, I don't know, it would, it would have still been fun, I uh, I think, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still, like I said, I'm glad I picked this video, or this game for making a walkthrough of. Anyways, we're not going to let that whirlpool suck us in. We're going to try not to do that again, because that was very unlike Crash Bandicoot. More like, unlike me, failing. Like, it's never Crash Bandicoot's fault. It's always my fault if Crash Bandicoot is invincible. Alright, so let's get this bonus out of the way. Like I said, I've been playing the first Crash Bandicoot, so the physics engine on this game is a little, is like a little bit. It has a different feel to it, so I'm trying to adjust back into this game. I'm sure by the end of the video, I'll be back in the hang of things, back in the swing of things. All right, so there we go. We still we got 59 lives back where we were, and now we have 60. The big 6-0. Going for 99 lives by the end of this walkthrough. Hopefully, we'll get there. Should be able to. I mean, the levels are only going to get more difficult, and I have a feeling there's going to be less lives that the game is going to be offering, but we'll figure it. Well, and I just wasted another coup mask, so hopefully I won't do anything stupid. Since I don't have an coup mask, and I actually there's boxes over here, we're going to have to actually go this way this time. In my uh, in the speed run of this, the speed gem we got, we just went ahead and wasted an coup mask just to get just for the sake of time. So that way we could get the gem in time, and we got it. We got it in definite time. We even had time to make it to the. The warp pad before the time I was finished, if I remember correctly. But yeah, at least there's no uh, secret entrances to this level or secret exits. There's only a speed gem, so like, like air crash. Air crash is a pain, but uh, we'll go in 100% that level uh, really soon when we go to sewer later, because there is or not sewer later. What am I talking about? Uh, the polar bear level for this warp room, whatever it's called. Uh, and we have 100% of plant food. That's another level done. Uh, the level is called Bear Down. Actually, let's go ahead and do Bear Down. I love polar bear levels, and we can go ahead and 100% the second warp room. So, and all we can get the crate gem along the way for this level. So that should be pretty easy. Uh, we can do that because the secret entrance to Air Crash is at the end of the level. So let's get our animal lover Crash Bandicoot to go tackle this polar bear. Now, oh, oh yeah, that's right. In this level, you have to actually dash before you jump. Look at him, he's mocking us. Yeah, the, uh, the only, this is the second to last polar bear level. The last polar bear level is a, a part of the secret warp room. Uh, it's actually a secret level in its own. It's level 26. And basically, you just go there for... Yeah. Yeah. Let's figure out why I was not dashing when I press square. That is that is uncalled for. Anyways, the uh, the last polar bear level is a part of the secret warp room, and you don't go there for a crystal, like I said, you go there for the gem. Alright, so for some reason I was pressing circle to dash instead of or square to dash instead of circle. But now we got that figured out. I'm just getting through this level just as easily. Yeah, this is a lot harder than the first polar bear, but not nearly as hard as the last one. Because it's nighttime and everything's dark and you can't see that far in front of you. It's kind of a pain, but... 
I mean, I still like it because it's a polar bear level. Now we got these guys lifting these heavy... What? I'm on the land. I'm floating on the land. Okay, we deserve to be mocked for that, Mr. Polar Bear. Or Polar, I guess you could call him. Hey guys, I just epically failed at this level five times in a row, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that part out of the video. Uh, it's pretty embarrassing, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to act like it didn't happen, just complete this level. I made a lot of stupid mistakes, but we will get all the crates and we will do this thing. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't want to bore you guys with me dying. But uh, I'm starting to get the hang of things again, so I should be fine from here on out. So let's get it going. Dodge some whales. Collect some boxes. Grab the crystal. Oh, jump, jump, jump. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, and see that little box that was hidden behind there? Tricky. What? 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 Anyways. Okay, is he gonna lift it or something? Oh, well then why would I, why would I jumped over it? He didn't lift it. Why? I don't understand. Jump. Go underneath. There you go. We got this, Crash. You're gonna have to give me some help, Crash. I'm awfully rusty today at this game. But anyways, dodge these nitros. Grab the box. Some mumper fruit. And there we go. Alright, so that's the secret passage back there if you didn't see that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just nitro box and uh, grab the grab the gem real quick. Alright, so gotta do this. We gotta parkour right here. We got to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was close. We got it though. And we are off to the secret warp room and we are going to go ahead and one percent air crash. And we got the crate gem for that bear level. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, another level 100% in the third warp room. And now we are finally going to 100% the second warp room and get rid of this confusing level we'd like to call Air Crash. Crash! Thank goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex meant to find. Well then, looks like Coco got cut off again. Uh, basically why that part of the video was cut off was because I failed um, that the secret warp room part to air crash. But um, yeah, so basically you'll see me back in this video when I'm on air crash getting the crate gem. So let's get to it. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, basically what happened to me on this level is I missed a few boxes apparently uh, when I was coming through here to get the crate gem. So basically I just cut that out of the video and uh, you will now be seeing me get the crate gem because I failed and it was my own stupidity that caused it. It wasn't, it wasn't like there was any secret boxes or anything. I must, I basically just skipped past one. But uh, yeah, so we'll, give me, we'll make it past that. And uh, so, if you haven't noticed about my channel, uh, recently, it's mainly been retro videos, as in, like, Crash Bandicoot, and Galaga, and, yeah, videos like that. But I just wanted to let my viewers know that my channel isn't going to be entirely about that. In fact, I plan on uh, uploading some gameplays and maybe even some walkthroughs of more modern games. Uh, I do have one or two videos about that uh, on Killing Floor and TF2 or Team Fortress 2, if you don't know what TF2 means. Uh, but, I mean, they're all right videos, you know. I just wanted to have some variety on my channel, so you can look forward to that. But, uh, yeah, so we are going to finish this level up. And, oh, and uh, along the way, I did get about three lives or so. That's why I have 67 lives now. But, uh, besides that, nothing else. I didn't do anything else in the game. I mean, I did show you that cutscene. That's the only thing that happened in between then and now so yeah so let's go do this bonus round and since we already did the death route on this level we do not have to do it again it does not have any crates on it or anything so that's one less thing we have to worry about about this level we're just here to get the crate gem and finally finally complete the second warp room 100 percent and we will be on our way and there's another life in the bag now sitting at 68 lives. 
Slowly, slowly working our way up to the maximum number of 99 lives. Anyways, so let's not be tempted by those beautiful platforms that want us to jump on them and then suddenly dunk themselves underwater to try to lure us in and kill us. Okay, so basically what I think I was doing wrong is because this game's really old and it has uh, some glitches here and there is I needed to sit here and wait for the TNT to actually blow up to actually make sure the game registered that it blew up all those crates and basically that's why I was not getting all the crates for this. But we or I realize that now and me and Crash are gonna finish up this level hopefully dodging mines without taking any damage and keep our double a coup mask because that's always nice to have. Who knows when we'll find another one. Who knows we might be able to get invincibility and have some fun with that. That's always fun. Uh, let's make sure that that mine is not going to be a burden for us when we jump over this and hopefully this is a little bit tricky right here we gotta time this just right there we go all right another crate some, some fish and we got the gem and there you have it that is the second warp room 100 percent complete guys and I think that is a good way to end the video. We finished Air Crash, completing the second warp room. We went ahead and finished that level we were working on. What was it called? Plant food, I think I believe it was. Let's check real quick, shall we? Uh, we comp like we already had gotten the speed gem for this, but we got the crate gem for plant food. So that's another level done for the third warp room. We completed Bear Down, got the crate gem for that. And yeah, it's looking like we're doing pretty well. Let's see how far we are into the game now. We got a double coup mask. That's going to be a good way to start off the next video. We are 44% done with the game with 69 lives, 12 crystals, and 18 gems. Uh, if you liked my video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, you know, give it a thumbs down, comment, tell me why you didn't like it. I can always use the criticism, the critique, if you would. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Anomalist out.